Okay, now we are going to use the idea of uh, metrics and metric spaces and define more complicated notions like bounded set, closed set. The ultimate aim is to reach to the idea of uh, compact sets and then how we use the compactness in, in optimization problems or basically like can we use the compactness uh, to to make sure that uh, a maximum or minimum of a function uh, d does exist. All right, so we are going to start with um, some set S and then a, a metric, a, a distance function defined on this set. All right, so we call this, let's, let's call this is a, a metric space. All right, well, any set, x, which is a subset of set S, is called bounded, all right? So it's bounded. Uh, if there exists some k number, all right, k is usually positive, all right, greater than or equal to zero, such that, such that, d of x, y is less than or equal to k for all x, y in the element of x. All right, so let's repeat this. So this is a, a, a sort of a, a long argument. And in this argument, it says, well, so this is the conclusion. Well, x is a bounded set. So you can bound this set. You can't say it's limitless. So it has limits, uh, not in the sense of mathematical limits. All right. Uh, so there exists some k. This is sort of the how far the elements of this set can be from one another, such that when you measure the distance between any two points in the set x, uh, well, this distance is going to be less than or equal to k. All right. So that means the farthest point, uh, the farthest two points in the set is, is at most k, uh, all right? And k, the thing is, is that there exists some finite, obviously, k. So in that sense, an interval, 0, 1, an open interval, you remember the definition of open closed interval, uh, 0, 5, all right? Uh, minus 7, um, 200 closed interval. So these are all bounded sets, all right? But let's think about set of natural numbers. Remember, it was 0, 1, 2, all the way to, well, infinity, but infinity is not a number, don't forget that. Well, the thing is, when you try to measure the distance between two points, all right. Well, for some, for many points, the distance is less than uh, for some, sorry, finite number. But the thing is, there is no upper bound. All right. Uh, you can always find a bigger number in the set. But here you cannot find a bigger number or smaller number. All right. So the boundaries are sort of uh, well established in these sets. So these are bounded sets, but this is not a, a bounded set. Um, same for set of rationals, set of real numbers. So these are not bounded sets. So they are unbounded uh, sets. So uh, again, well, once again, so the endpoints, uh, well, in a, in a sort of a one-dimensional space, the endpoints are included in a, boundary, a bounded set. Okay, so now... Uh, what we are going to define is neighborhood. Okay, so it's very similar, uh, the, well, the terminology that we use in real life, your neighborhood, so the people around you, okay? So we're going to mathematically define it. All right, so let's take some element x in a set S. All right, it's just a point in S, and then R is a positive real number. All right, it's a real number, but it's positive. It can't be zero, it can't be negative. All right, and R neighborhood of this element X is 
the set of all the points in S which are uh, r farther from x. All right, so let me write the notation xr, so the neighborhood of x around x and the limit is r, all right, or the sort of the, the farthest point can be r uh, unit away, is defined as all the y's in S such that the distance between x and y is less than, not equal to, r. All right? So therefore, our neighborhood of uh, some point, uh, some element x, is all the elements in this set, all right? is our, our mother set s, all the elements in our mother set, such that they are at most our unit away from x, all right? Uh, that's it. So they might be closer than our units to x, but at most our units farther from x. All right, so let's think about some examples. So let's consider my set S is actually the set of reals, all right? And my x is equal to point, I don't know, seven. And then let's consider R is equal to one, right? So what is the one unit neighborhood of point seven in R? So it's basically, remember the set of reals starts from minus infinity to plus infinity. So seven is somewhere here. So all the points that are farther from at most one unit. So the farthest point on the on the positive side, I mean the positive infinity side, can be eight at most, and the, the smallest number can be at least six, all right? But one important uh, point is that the, uh, the, the points where the, the distance is exactly equal to r, in which case here it's one, are not included in the set, all right? So sometimes we call this open uh, neighborhood uh, but by definitions, the neighborhoods are always open, but it's, 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 it's open. It doesn't include the boundary points. So therefore, the 6th and 8th are not included, but everything in between is included. So therefore, the, the, the neighborhood of point 7, the one unit neighborhood of point 7 in R, is in fact the open interval 6 to 8. So all the points in this open interval is is the one unit interval. Well, if you increase this to two unit interval, well, the logic is simple. Well, then the farthest point in the positive infinity side is gonna be nine, and then the smallest number is gonna be five. So everything in between uh, five to nine is gonna be the neighborhood around seven, but two units neighborhood, all right? So as you increase R, the neighborhood is, is enlarging. Again, it's like the same notation. So what is the 50 mile radius uh, or neighborhood around your house? So that's a good example. It's R square, right? So in R square, for example, what is the um, one unit uh, uh, neighborhood of point zero? All right, well, that's gonna be actually a unit circle, right? So that's going to be a unit circle. So if this is my r square, all right. So this is negative infinity on 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 r. So this is another r. So negative infinity, positive infinity, and so on. So this is point uh, zero zero. Let's be clear about this. So therefore, a one unit interv uh, a one unit uh, neighborhood is. I am putting dots because. The, well, I'm sorry, this is not a perfect circle. Uh, I'm, I'm putting dots because the points on the boundaries are not included in my neighborhood because this is defined as less than, strictly less than R. So, all right, so be careful about it. 